Hello and welcome to another how-to video. This one's going to be nice and short because we know you love the shorter ones. Welcome to DVS, I'm Dave Davis, CTO of DVS, and today we're going to take a look at something a little bit cooler, a little bit more niche, but still super, super valuable. So as you might have alluded, there is a battery behind me. Now this is one of our big batteries from our Solar Hike Vision AX Pro mobile rapid deployment towers. That was a mouthful. I've done this for a little demonstration. We're charging this to put back out in another deployable unit. But the reason I got the battery there is to sort of go along with one of the great products from our friends over at Veracity. Now, the reason I want to make a point of highlighting this product, you might already know what I'm going to show here, is because there's so many uses to this product. It's really cost effective, really versatile, very well made, but underrated and undersold in most opinions, but we sell a lot of them. So if you are one of these people that are always looking for a solution like this, which I'm just about to show you, then we've got the solution for you right here as a Veracity part. And if you guys know Veracity, you'll know that stands for quality. So this is a VCS 4P1 MOB. It's a low voltage, so 12 volt, four pore PoE plus switch. Powered by 12 volts, i.e. a battery pack like this. This happens to be a 12 volt, 130 amp hour battery, leisure battery. Um, for like a tower solution, we can go higher and we can go lower than the 130. But if you need a low voltage to PoE switch, we do them in a four port, which this is. Let me just put that as clear. So we do that as a four port one. We also do it as an eight port model. So a four port and an eight port. So what is it? Very simply, I'm gonna get out the box. It does come with a user manual, which I'm going to show you now. It does come with a little rail mount, din mount style solution, which you put on the side and screw in. So it's easy to fit, put that back in the box. The quick start guide I'm going to refer to in a minute because it's really important, some really helpful information in there. But essentially, this is a metal four port or eight port PoE switch. So as you can see, cam switch for mobile. So if you're fitting towers, Oh, these are great in lots of different applications. Towers, mobile deployment. If you want to use battery technology, but power PoE cameras directly from this and connect it to an NVR or 4G router, also powered by 12 volts, to get that across to your ARC, to your monitored site, to your end user via the app, anything like that. This is a handy little conversion device, which will allow you to power them off PoE and connect the network element up to a router or NVR, DVR, etc., etc. So it comes with a little 12 volt plug there. So we plug that into our battery pack. Don't have to use that. I also have handily, handily uh, over here, um, I have put somewhere, um, I'm off camera because it was in my pocket. For the purposes of this demonstration, rather than connect it up to this battery, which we're actually charging, principle's still the same. I'm just gonna use a standard 12 volt, two amp hour, you know, desktop plug effectively with the green connector in there, which are effectively plugs in the front, like so, positive, negative, I'm gonna plug that in. That gives us 12 volts here. This will give us PoE plus out of here. So you've got five ports effectively. So as you can see, you've got four PoE ports and one uplink port, non-PoE. So you can see there, if I turn it up the right way on the case in itself, you can see there, I'm just gonna get it there now, PoE out, so 802.3 AF, 802.3 AT, data only, and eight to 40 volt DC in. This operates over a wide voltage, um, so down to eight volts, up to 40 volts DC. So a wide voltage application. So if you're installing in somewhere like a vehicle, so like a van, a normal van or a car, which we do lots of these, lots of those applications. Now some NVRs have built in PoE, some don't. This gives you complete flexibility and versatility on powering your cameras, especially if they're like not like for like. So if you're using like, say, let's say a, a height vision NVR and non height vision cameras, and they don't come on as a plug and play camera, this allows you to connect them up and then add it via the LAN port of that device. So really, really flexible, really versatile, really powerful. So 
Four ports of PoE, one port uplink, which is up to your router, to your NVR, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So up to you how you configure that. But lots of applications will use 12 volts, whether it's a vehicle installation or a mobile tower application or a solar deployment. Maybe you're creating a large, not rapid deployment, so it's not necessarily movable, but they do have battery packs in a case and some large solar panels because it's an isolated uh, camera or cameras on a pole, like a farm rural area, and you still want to power them with PoE. Perfect for that. Again, eight ports are available as well. So great for vehicles, but because this has got that wide range in application from eight volt to 40 volt, most commercial trucks, and cranes, etc., operate on a 24 volt DC system. This will still work fine. So eight to 24 to 40 volts, all fine. So from standard vehicles to the industrial heavy duty type vehicles, like trucks and cranes and you know heavy industry vehicles, this will allow you to install that as a device and still be operational on the battery harness of that vehicle. Super, super flexible. So all we'd have to do to work, I'm just gonna give you a very quick demonstration of how this works. So battery pack, just for the visuality of it, we're gonna plug this into a main supply. Two cat leads. So I've got a standard camera here. Well, I did have, I threw it on the floor. Standard height vision camera. So I'm gonna plug this in to my switch. Plug that in in a, in, in a second. And I'm going to get another cat cable, plug it into my switch. And I'm going to use something that most of you haven't seen yet. So I'm going to get told off for this probably, but this. Now, that's a color view camera, right? Yeah, somewhat. It's actually a color view 3.0 camera. And when I tell you, this will blow your mind when you see the nighttime and low light performance. So there is going to be a video on this shortly. We've been testing this for a while at DVS. It's just been released. We are ordering stock of it. So bear with us. It's not available to buy yet. It's a sample as it says there. This is, Colorview was a game changer. If Colorview was a game changer to most of you, this blows everything else in comparison out with the water. It's got better AI analytics. It's got two microphones. So you've got like a stereotopic microphone or input sound, two microphones into one. It's got anti-corrosive NEMA 4X coating on it. Fantastic. It has AI driven functionality in the image and a better lens assembly with better um, light performance, low light performance. When this is side by side with a standard color view, the difference is un believable so everyone out there that's promoting their low light technology other brands other people perfect fantastic we all love a low light camera let me tell you something now this will change the game forever and you'll see more on that soon a sneaky little input from dave which yes i know hype vision are going to tell me off for it because he didn't want me to tell you now but i've told you so please please look out for that so we're going to get this lovely little camera out of the box. This is a four megapixel camera, as you'd expect, a standard, standard camera from that aspect. Ooh, ooh, corrosion resistant, you say again. I do. So just going to plug this in. So this is a standard four meg, but of course there is going to be an eight meg version in active deterrent functionality and you will see the performance in an upcoming video and sales will be in touch. But let's just plug this in. Whoop. Excuse me for one minute while I just uh, plug this in. So all I've done is applied the 12 volts to this unit. So as you can see here, let me bring the camera closer, look. As you can see here, You've got the uplink port, which is lit to show you as powered. And you can see the two PoE lights there flashing away. Powered by a simple 12 volts, but giving PoE out to two cameras. Now, the next question you're gonna ask me, so really simple setup. Don't have to do more than that. Most of you will fully understand and appreciate that kind of device, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna ask me is, what does the power curve look like from input to output power? 
great question I hear you say. That's a very simplified drawing of what that connects look. So you've got your battery, you've got your uplink there, mobile NVR with the cameras, etc. So mobile, towers, vehicle, any low voltage system even. We work, believe it or not, there are certain jobs out there that have only, that will only allow you to, to, to operate at 12 volts. So you have to use a 12 volt, like basically a ring main around the building. It doesn't matter what those buildings are, those that know, no. And this will sit on that bus nice and easily. So you can see here, whoop, can't see anything because I dropped it on the floor, guys. But you can see the sort of power curve here. If I get this, I'm trying to show you here. So the power curve, let me be a bit more. Right, so power curve. You can see the input voltage to the output watt. So at 8.5, you can see there, it's below 50 watts effectively. But the higher up you go, you can see the wattage. So input voltage up to 40 volts and then the output wattage. So the more power you put in, the more power you get out. But even at 12 volts, you're gonna get enough to power realistically four standard IP cameras. Now, you're not gonna get four PTZs off it. It's not that kind of device, okay? But again, you see the power curve there. And you'll see there, power budget is a maximum of 80 watt. So you've got uh, the power output there, fuse rating, fuse rating, etc. So you can power it with Veracity do their own um, uh, power supply for it, but like simply 12 to 24 volt DC battery, say commercials are normally 24 volt DC. And that is the power curve and the power output rating. So absolutely easy to use, no moving parts, extremely cost effective. Very, it's very well made, very well en engineered, even down to the fact it's got these nice cooling aluminium fins on the back and it matches the color of the battery as well and probably my jumper. Um, that's it. That's what I really wanted to highlight and introduce to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Lots more to come, especially on some of the product I just showed you. If you do want to know more about Veracity products, please get in touch with your DVS sales rep. We'll be more than happy. They're not just known for Ethernet and coax extenders. They've got a lot more to the range. Do get in contact where we can show you what they have in the range and how that can help you and your installs. But more specifically, if you want the 12 volt to PoE setup, four port or eight ports, let us know and we'll get a price over to you and we'll even get them over to you next day, hopefully. Other than that, take care. See you next week for another how-to video.